It's 2022, and you've just built an awesome gaming PC on a budget, but you're missing one part, the GPU. You've checked eBay and Facebook Marketplace, but a new GPU just costs double the amount that you spent on the rest of your computer combined. You've got $200 to spend, and you need to start gaming. If that sounds like you, you may have seen one of these. The GTX 970 and the R9 290. Both of these cards retail for around $200 on eBay, but can be found at better deals in Facebook Marketplace or similar sites depending on where you're at. These two cards, while they are both old, coming out in 2013 and 2014 respectively, both do deliver decent 1080p performance in 2022. The PC used to test these two graphics cards is budget friendly, but upgradable. Something that someone shopping for a $200 graphics card would be looking for. In Apex Legends, the R9 290 outperforms the GTX 970 by just under 5 FPS, the GTX 970 achieving 68.5 FPS to the R9 290's 73. In 1% lows, the GTX 970 flips it around, but only by about 1 FPS, with the GTX 970 reporting 50.8 FPS to the R9 290's 49.9 in 1% lows. In minimum FPS, the GTX 970 severely underperforms compared to the R9 290, having a minimum of just under 7 FPS versus the almost 25 FPS that the R9 290 performs at. In CSGO, the R9 290 again beats the GTX 970, this time by 15 FPS, leading at 228.8 to 213.3 FPS. In 1% lows, the R9 290 extends its lead, with 74 FPS versus the GTX 970's 58. The R9 290, however, did see a significantly lower minimum FPS, with only 1.9 to the GTX 970's 39.4. In Doom Eternal, the GTX 970 pulls its first win over the R9 290, with an average FPS of 72 to the R9 290's 64.7. For 1% lows, the GTX 970 pulls its lead even further with 57.2 FPS to the R9 290's 47.2. The R9 290 does, however, pull a slight lead in minimum FPS with 41.5 to the GTX 970's 38.3. The GTX 970 takes another win in F1 2021 with an average of 99.28 frames per second to the R9 290's 93.8. In 1% lows, the GTX 970 continues this trend, with 61.8 to 58.2 FPS. The GTX 970 takes the third step on the podium with minimum FPS, leading the R9 290 20.3 to 17.5 for Team Red. The GTX 970 then goes on to lead the R9 290 in Fortnite, with an average FPS of 58.9 to the R9 290's 49. In 1% lows, the GTX 970 pulls an even bigger lead, with 34.7 to 20.4 FPS. In minimum FPS, the R9 290 closes the gap, but still trails 5.6 to 7 FPS for the GTX 970. In Halo Infinite, the only game run at 1080p low instead of 1080p high due to the demands, the GTX 970 pulled another lead over the R9 290, with an average FPS of 72.1, 47.4 for the R9 290. 1% lows saw the same trend continue, with 52.4 for the GTX 970 to the R9 290's 27.9. Minimum FPS saw the two flip around, with the GTX 970 scoring 3.2 FPS to the R9 290's 4.8 FPS. Rocket League, the last game tested, saw the GTX 970 stomp on the R9 290. The GTX 970 more than doubled the R9 290's average FPS, with 258.5 to 127.1. 1 percent lows were a little better, but not by much, with 58 FPS for the GTX 970 to 30.4 for the R9 290. Minimum FPS was terrible for the R9 290, achieving only 0.192 to the GTX 970's 39.4. The winner between the GTX 970 and the R9 290 is obviously the GTX 970. The GTX 970 performed better in several games all across the board via the average FPS or 1% lows, and also did have the abysmal minimum frames per second. For watching this video, please like and subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for this Saturday where we'll be comparing the GTX 970 versus $60 graphics card to see if you can go for a lower budget to get you the performance that you need to tide you over to where affordable graphics card will be available once again.